my readers. Today I am super excited to share with you my latest book haul. I went out the other weekend just intending to pop into the local uh, library bookstore, little store that sells uh, used books, and of course I came home with a whole stack. I'm going to show you what I got right now. Before I do that, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell. I do new videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and most of the time on Fridays. So first up in my bargain book haul is I found A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin. Um, I've never read the Earthsea series, but I know that it's super popular. And actually, the winner of my recent giveaway, Jin Jin Park, actually requested um, A Wizard of Earthsea as the book of their choice for the giveaway. Now, this is obviously an older version. It's very tiny. I'm just showing it, comparing it next to another uh, paperback here. But this book has definitely been recommended to me by a bunch of people over on Instagram. I... I'm drawing a blank on who they were, so if it was you, sorry <laughs> that I don't remember exactly. I tried to look through back posts to find out exactly who it was, but I did not succeed in that. So I will be reading this at some point in the future whenever I get around to it. Next up, I found a book that I was super excited to find. If you don't know, I have been on a journey to read all of Stephen King's books, and I am going by order of publication date. Now, there are a few Stephen King books that I am missing out of his whole bibliography, and one of them is End of Watch. Now, I understand that this is kind of part of a trilogy of books, including uh, Mr. Mercedes, which I have, and Finders Keepers, which I also have, but I did not have End of Watch. I have been looking for this book for three years, and yes, I completely understand. I could have ordered it off of Amazon anytime, but most of my other King books have been found at uh, tag sales, flea markets, uh, bargain bookshop. So that's what I was hoping for. And I finally found this. I paid $4 for it and I was super excited about that. So yay for Stephen King. Next up, I found this little uh, YA sci-fi called The Illuminae Files. Now, you may be familiar with this because it's been all over Instagram and YouTube, and I know that Jay Kristoff is a super popular uh, author. I've actually never read anything by him, so this will be the first one. Um, I really don't know much about this book other than I know it's a science fiction, I know it's YA, and I know that it's written in a very different uh, style. Like... It's kind of hard to see, but there's a lot of um, interviews and reports. It's not a, it's not your typical uh, narrative, if I guess, if you want to say. So I know that this series has a bunch of books. This is just number one, but I was excited that I was able to get my hands on this, and hopefully it lives up to all the hype. Next up, I picked up... If I Stay by Gail Foreman. Again, I've never read anything by Gail Foreman, but I have heard of this book, If I Stay. It's about a, um, a young girl caught between life and death, between a happy past and an unknowable future. Um, so something happens to her. She gets in like a car crash, and then I think she's in a coma, and she's kind of wandering around, um, like having an out-of-body experience. I think, again, I've only heard of this book. I've heard, I think there might have even been a movie or a show made out of it. If you're familiar with it, let me know down below if you liked this one. Again, it is another YA, but I thought that it would be a fun read. It was only $2, so I added this to my pile. Next up, I found The Last Argument of Kings by J. Abercrombie. Now, this book is book three in his first Law trilogy. I actually found the first book, whose name I'm blanking on at the moment, but I found book number one um, back in the beginning of this year. This is book number three, so now I just have to find book number two somewhere. 
And this is a series I am really interested in reading. Um, I've seen David's book reviews talk about it recently. I can link his channel down below. Um, and I know he really liked the series, or at least the ones that he's read so far. And there's a couple people I know over on Instagram who are really big fans of the series. So it's definitely near the top of my list for series that I want to read. So I may have to just bite the bullet and actually buy book number two for full price. But I still have a chance that I can find it somewhere. <laughs> Next up, I picked up this copy of the Ichabod by J.K. Rowling. Now, I'm going to be honest, I kind of had mixed feelings on whether or not I wanted to give this book a try. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. But because it was super cheap. I think it was five bucks at the library store. I was like, well, let me just pick it up and give it a read. I don't know much about it other than it's supposed to be about a, um, some sort of a monster. And from what I understand, there was some sort of a contest when this book was being worked on. And the book is filled with, uh, artwork that children around the world had sent in. So I think any books that include, you know, artwork, that type of stuff are really, really cool. So that's kind of the thing that made me want to pick this one up because I wanted to see all the pictures that all the kids did. So I really haven't seen that many reviews about this one. Um, probably because J.K. Rowling is not everyone's favorite uh, person right now. But if you have read this one, let me know down below uh, whether or not you like this book as far as like the writing and stuff goes. I always love when I can find a brand new books that are in great condition. It always makes me feel like I found a hidden gem. And last but not least, the next book that I picked up is The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. Now, again, this is a lovely new book, a great condition. I've only read one book by Kristen Hanna so far, and that was The Nightingale that I read a few months ago. Two months ago? It feels like a long time ago, but I know it wasn't really that long ago. But I know that Kristen Hanna has written a lot of books. She's super popular. And because I did like The Nightingale so much, I'm like, well, let me start picking up some of her other books if I see them. Again, I found this one. It was $5. So I believe it's about a family living, uh, yes, living in the Alaskan wilderness. So if it's anything like The Nightingale, it should be a good read. I have very high expectations for this book. So... Hopefully it lives up to them. So those are all the books I found for this week's book haul. I think I found a bunch of books that I am super excited to read. So let me know if you have gotten any books lately, either full price or bargain books. Let me know in the comments section below. All right, everyone. Happy reading.